A Testament Against the World The Lord's Rebuke The Generation of Wrath May 27, 2011 From the Lord our God and Savior A letter given to Timothy For all those who have ears to hear Thus says the Lord of hosts To the generation of his wrath You know not the anger of the Lord nor of my jealousy, which burns in the fierceness of my wrath. The way of the Lord is not known, and the travesty of the innocent is hidden from your eyes. You refuse to see. Therefore, calamity shall not cease from before your eyes, and destruction shall increase in every corner. The destruction from on high shall increase before you, and the wrath of the Lord shall chase you from behind. The strength of your heart shall give way, and you shall lie down heavily until death comes to take you and darkness closes in. And still the way of the Lord is not known, for the light of your eyes is darkened. For these people are grossly wicked. This generation hates the glory of my majesty, having turned their backs to their creator. They want no part with him who has given them breath. Not one has heard the weeping of the Holy One. No one thirsts. Who has come out to drink? Who has eaten from this tree? Who among this lying generation has opened their mouth in truth? Who among you knows? Who has seen and knows? Who has seen the form of the holy? And who has been made to understand the way of the everlasting? My messengers know. My prophets have seen. Lo, I have given them drink. For they were thirsty, and from the tree I have nourished them, for they were hungry. We have wept together, and from their mouths I have poured out knowledge, and upon their lips is truth. And still the way of the Lord is not known among this people. Deceive, generation! Your arrogance is an evil cord wound tightly about your necks. Your pride has the strength of the anaconda, and it shall crush you. It slithered in while you slept. While you were deep in your slumber, it came in the night to grab hold of its prey. He hisses at you, yet your ears welcome the sound. You are not at all terrified. Neither have you roused to take flight. Yet the anger of the Lord is fully aroused. My indignation slumbers not. I am wide awake as I look upon all your atrocities. I behold all your sins as they increase beyond measure. And with little restraint, they break down the walls and inundate the cities and towns. They flow into your houses, reaching unto the neck. Your schools are not protected, and your churches have fallen asleep. The mire of your ways deepens, the way ahead cut off from before you. The alarm has been sounded, the trumpet blares in the streets, and still you sleep. Scarcely one among you rouses to take flight. For the prophets of the Lord are hated, and the servants of the Lord remain lukewarm. Lo, my messengers are hated by my own people, and in the world they are cast off with rarely a mention. For the way of the Lord is not known. And the fear of the Lord is forgotten. This generation has no love for God in their hearts. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Behold, 
the generation of my wrath. Look upon the generation of all these condemned peoples. Look deep into this darkness. Take a lantern and search. Go from house to house and see if there is one who has remembered my way. Look and see if there is any who know me. Behold, all light is removed, every lamb taken. Deep darkness ensues, and it covers as the darkest night. It falls down heavily upon them. Yet the people say, Where has all this darkness come from? And for what cause? Has all this violence come upon us? For what reason is all this devastation come upon us? Thus says the Lord, Is not this the day which was spoken of? Is this not the day prophesied throughout the generations, even from the very beginning, that it should come? Is this not the day of the Lord? For I tell you, it has come. All have entered in. The outcry of the prophets has come forth. The word of the Lord is here. It comes to pass before your eyes. It increases and fills the earth. The outcry is come forth. It has come. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the voice of your Maker, the God of heaven, creator of heaven and earth. Hear the word of the Lord from aforetime, even unto this day. Hear the call and the testimony, and tremble in fear at the proclamation of the Lord. For the decree is sent down, the judgment is set, and is ready to be poured out. Lo, calamity breaks forth already announcing the coming of the Holy One. His messengers prepare his way before him. The earth trembles at his nearness. Lo, his hands gather his flock together, and his soft voice calls for his lambs. The house is broken into, yet who is aware of it? The bundles are tied and prepared. The flocks are gathered together, and still the people mock. And those called Christians say, Are we not the chosen? Yes, we are the elect of God. Woe! Woe to you, O arrogant houses! Stop deceiving yourselves! Bow down and depart from your filthy houses, and I may yet receive you. Repent of every doctrine you have made, and forsake every tradition of men you have created, and I may yet receive you. Embrace those I send, and turn from your persecutions, and cease from your mocking. Run and fill your empty lamps. For the sluggard is at ease among you. The faithful worship themselves, and the devout follow after men. Am I not the Lord God who sees, the one who knows? Yet my people hide their faces from me and cover their shame in an effort to appear righteous before men. Do I not search the hearts and the minds, even to the innermost? Therefore, who is it you seek to please? And for what cause do you wear this fine apparel? For what reason? Do you wear these masks and cover your heads? For what purpose is this masquerade? Am I not the Lord? And if I am the Lord, your God, then how is it you seek after vain glories and forget your God? For vanity is a rope, and pride builds the gallows. Is not Haman your brother? and Cain your close friend, and of their reward you are fully worthy. You shall surely share in it. Is not wisdom justified by her children, and wickedness the delight of fools? 
For I tell you, death's mouth is wide open, the pit is dug deep, and the grave is never full. Gehenna waits patiently, and Sheol is made ready, and the wicked shall fall into it. The evil of heart shall surely descend into it. For death and wickedness are married. By evil deeds do they consummate their union. By their every word do they confirm their agreement. Until the fire consumes them, and darkness hides them forever. For the place of the deceased is known. Yet those worthy of the flame shall cease and never be found. They are blotted out. Hear, therefore, the Lord's complaint. The foot of oppression weighs heavily upon the poor, and the needy are crushed beneath the power of evil men. For the heart of men in authority is evil, and the hardness thereof seeks only to take and to consume, until their ravenous appetites are satisfied. Yet their hunger only increases in their pursuit of evil gain, and their thirst deepens with every drop of blood they consume. Therefore, thus says the Lord, They shall have their fill. Evil shall reign, and wickedness shall overtake them, and blood shall I give them to drink. And in the midst of their fullness, they shall starve. And at the height of their transgression, I shall consume them. Behold, I shall oppress them day and night. The hand of the Lord shall weigh heavily upon them. The power of my judgment shall crush them under the foot of my punishment. I shall tread them down. Behold, as grapes in the winepress of the wrath of my fury, I shall tread them down. The back of the high man shall be bent down, and the neck of the evil man shall be broken. All in authority shall bow down, for I am the only Lord of hosts.